So let me go over some of my favorite training splits, which I've used in the past that have helped me build muscle and why they could be a good choice for you to try out. So first is the classic push pull legs. This one breaks up your training into three separate days. A push pull legs can either be a three day split or a six day split. Your push day consists of training your chest, triceps and shoulders. And your pull day is your back, biceps and traps. And the leg day being everything lower body. You can also throw in some ab work on your upper days as well. The push pull leg split works very well for those of you who don't have a lot of time to dedicate towards the gym or for those of you who want to minimize the days that you are training. Push pull legs is a great split because it allows you to hit every major muscle group each week. And if you choose to do a three day push pull leg split, you only have to spend three days in the gym to still see fantastic results. But as I said, you can make this a six day split, whatever fits your schedule. Next is the upper lower split. The upper lower split is a good option for those of you who want to train each muscle group more than once per week. Sure, the old school bodybuilding split, the bro split, they're effective as well. But destroying a muscle group and then giving it an entire week to recover may not be optimal for many lifters. With an upper lower split, each muscle group gets trained twice per week as you do two upper body sessions and two lower body sessions. You can do a heavy and a light upper body day in a given week or cycle the exercises which you use. This one is very open-ended and can be easily tailored to your specific training preferences. Next is one of my favorite training splits, back, triceps, quads, chest, biceps, hamstrings, and shoulders and arms on the last day. This is obviously a bit different to the traditional push pull leg split. For example, following a classic training split, you would train triceps on your chest day. However, by the time you would get around to training your triceps, Biceps, they would already be fried from all the pressing movements which you've done and this is obviously a less than ideal time to train them your biceps however would be fresh and therefore you could hit them with 100 percent intensity and effort this split gives you the added benefit of stimulating your biceps and your triceps twice per week the leg days are also broken down by muscle group quad and hamstring day could also be called knee dominant and hip dominant exercise day your quad dominant leg day can include squat variations leg press leg extensions and walking lunges for example and your hamstring days can focus on posterior chain exercises such as deadlift variations glue bridges hip thrusts step ups and kettlebell swings for example next another one which i'm a big fan of especially for beginners is the full body split the full body split is very effective for those of you who are new to weightlifting when you're first starting out you want to train your muscles multiple times per week to get really good at the exercises and to get your muscles used to frequent stimulation when setting up a full body split make sure it's balanced you want a horizontal push and pull and a vertical push and pull a hip dominant exercise and a quad dominant exercise and an abdominal exercise. For example, a good workout would consist of a dumbbell chest press, chin-ups, seated shoulder press, bent over rows, squats, deadlifts, and a plank variation, for example. And finally, the power and hypertrophy split. If you want to train for both strength and size, this is a great split to use. Essentially, you start off your sessions with the three big lifts in an attempt to get stronger at those lifts. And I would say from personal experience, try aim to hit six reps on your squat, bench, or deadlift before you move up in weight. And after that, you'd follow this up with a body building training session so training for hypertrophy training to build muscle consisting of isolation exercises higher rep ranges so the best split for building muscle ticks a couple of boxes the first one being the most important how quickly how well are you recovering between your sessions protein synthesis peaks in around 36 to 48 hours after training so this means your muscles are generally ready to train again after that 36 to 48 hour window and assuming you recover well i would suggest that you train a body part once every three days this generally translates to twice a week which is on average the optimal frequency for most lifters so if you train your chest on monday and it is fully recovered by wednesday there's no reason to wait another week to train it but the opposite is also true if you train chest on a monday and you're following some random training split which tells you to train chest on a Wednesday again even though your chest is still sore from your previous training session your power output is going to be less and your performance in the gym is going to be bad just because you bench 225 for 10 on Monday does not mean you're going to bench 225 for 10 on Wednesday your training itself is not what makes you big it just sets the stage for you to get big because training itself is innately catabolic remember you're breaking down the muscle you're damaging it you're tearing up muscle fibers so you have to make sure your recovery is on point outside of your training so that you are in an anabolic state outside of your training if you're not recovering you need more rest if you are recovering you're not sore you're full of energy then yes you can be more aggressive with your training but first of all regardless of what split you're doing you need to optimize recovery are you eating enough calories are you structuring your meals correctly around your training are you sleeping well are you stressed out all these things first and foremost need to be in check so that you can recover to the best of your ability and so that you can maximize muscle growth also you'll come to realize that as you get into weightlifting the variability between each body part in terms of 
of their rate of recovery and their respondents to resistance training will differ. Some people have sore legs for four days after they train legs. Some people may have huge arms, but their chest hasn't grown one bit. So this is where programming comes into play because everyone has weak body parts and strong body parts and every body part differs in its ability to recover. So if I were building your program, I would have you pick two of your weakest body parts and make sure you hit those with the most frequency throughout your week. So let's say you have really good legs, but a really poor back. Your back should then get hit after that 48 hour window. Whereas your legs, I would say only hit them once a week because they're a very strong body part for you and they don't need that extra frequency. Now, obviously you can't just do every body part with insane frequency throughout the week. You don't have the capacity to recover from crazy chest workouts, crazy back workouts, crazy arm workouts, crazy leg workouts twice a week for each body part. Again, you have limited amount of recovery to allocate to each body part. And on that note, just a quick piece of advice. I know I advocated full body splits earlier and I still stand by that because I think they're a great split for beginners, but I don't think they're so great for consistently going to the gym. This is because another very important factor when it comes to your training split and which training split you should choose and how you should structure your training split is do you enjoy it? And when it comes to whole body splits, they're just not that fun. The reason being your pumps aren't going to be great. And this is a big deal. The pump is what makes training fun. That feeling is probably the biggest reason why you're excited to work out. So if you're doing one chest exercise, then one back, then one arms, then one quads, your pump is not going to be good. I would say allocate enough volume to drive as much blood into one muscle before you move on to the next. Next, as I mentioned earlier, please understand that there is no such thing as the perfect split. I don't care if some tic tackers six week hypertrophy program, three by 12, four by 12 is optimal for gains. Do not be fooled, bro. The reason these amazing physiques that you see on TikTok, on Instagram, who are trying to sell you training programs, who are trying to give advice on training and tell you what the best way of training is, they don't look like that because of their training split. This is something you need to understand right now, bro. They do not look like that because of their training split, but because of his or her top tier genetics and or the unfathomable amount of D-ball he is deep throating on a daily basis. Now, all these splits you see online may work fantastically for you, but they may not. And don't be surprised if it doesn't because you don't have his or her ability to recover or genetics. I just want you to understand that there is never going to be a perfect split. So to sum up, place a focus on your weaker body parts, that which you have a harder time bringing up and do this by allocating more frequency. So train them twice a week as opposed to once a week. Find out what body parts recover faster for you and how well do you recover in general? How can you improve your sleep, diet, stress levels? And finally, make your training fun. Give your muscles enough volume to really pump it up in your training sessions. Now, obviously there's loads of other factors which come into play when trying to design a training split, like exercise selection, sets, reps, tempo, rest between sets, intensity, training methods, but it ain't that deep. Just remember, train hard, control your eccentrics, use a full range of motion, focus on a mind-muscle connection, and try aim for 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. So whether you're doing a six, five, four, three, two day split, push pull legs upper lower what matters more is that it's a split you enjoy you look forward to adheres to your rate of recovery and weak body parts if it does all those and if it ticks those boxes assuming you are consistent you will see results anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful thank you for the support as always i'll be coming out with a video very soon but until then peace